Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a different type of video. Um, if you're wondering why my background looks different and why I'm so close to my face, um, it's because I'm gonna be doing a makeup video. So what I'm gonna be doing today is um, reviewing a palette that I just picked up from the 99 cent store and let me grab it right now. It is this Smoke and Mirrors palette. It is the Dream Catcher palette. And um, it has these really pretty like fall type colors. Um, basically though, the colors are something that I would use every day. So when I saw this, it did catch my eye. And some of these colors reminded me of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So what I wanted to do is kind of to see if I can create a similar look using this palette um, that I would be able to do with my Anastasia palette. So what I'm gonna be doing is one side of my face, I'm gonna use uh, my modern renaissance palette and let me yeah, let me grab that if you're not familiar with it it's a pretty popular um my modern renaissance palette um and this has it's a little different because it doesn't have the like the green tone but as far as the neutrals i thought that like this orangey color and like their neutral browns and the deep brown are similar kind of the this um 99 cent store palette reminds me of those colors in this palette. So this is something that I use all the time on the daily. Um, you guys know that I like to save money. That is my thing. But when it comes to eyeshadows, that is the one thing that I like to get, like the higher end brand um, eyeshadows. Just I just feel they just have better quality, longer lasting. Um, you, you have to use way less, I feel, to get like your pigment and blend. And it's just... They just seem to be easier to use and it's just it's also just fun i love watching beauty youtube videos that's where i started watching at first i started watching youtube is their beauty videos so i've watched so many of those videos and it just is a fun <laughs> it's just fun um so um but i did catch this palette and i looked the drink catcher palette and um i just wanted to try it out just for fun, just to see if I could create, it's just kind of also to just challenge myself, see if I can create a similar look using that palette than one that I would normally do on my everyday. And now I, I am, no, this is, obviously it's not a beauty channel. I'm by no means beauty expert, beauty guru. No, that is not me at all. I'm just a lover of makeup and I can do an adequate eye look. Um, I kind of perfected like one or two looks and that's usually just like all that I do is what I wear. I have like my daily look and then my like more like glam going out kind of look on the occasion that I get to do that. And so right today I'm gonna kind of create somewhere like in the middle of that. And this is, like I said, this is like the colors that I would use on the daily. So I definitely caught my eye something that's actually like usable. That looked very usable and wearable. A lot of um, shadows that I, that you see at like the Dollar Tree or like 99 cent store. Um, there's like one or two colors that I would like use. This one, I'd probably use all of them, except for it, like, I, like I said, I'm not a beauty expert. I don't know what I, to do with the green color. Uh, I probably need to find like a tutorial on like how to wear a green eyeshadow because it's a pretty color. I like that green color, but I, like I said, I, I don't know what to do with it. Um, let me just start and get into it. I have not even opened this palette, so let me see. How do I even open this? Okay, and also it says highly pigmented long wearing. So it actually has like, it says that it's supposed to be highly pigmented and long wearing, which is what you're looking for in an eyeshadow. Also, you know, blendability and, um, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna just like destroy this right now. Okay. So, so here's the palette, and they all actually do have names. And oh, I like that it actually has it on the um, packaging, and it's not like a little like film strip. Like you actually can will know what it is on there. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> okay. It's the first my first time opening the palette. So you have the first shade is Crystal Flame Ribbon Spotlight Prom Night and Cappuccino. So I actually like those names. That's cute. I think the other kind of fitting there. I'm going to be trying to do a look with this palette and then also doing a look with my Anastasia palette. And 
Um, I already um, did my foundation and I prepped my eyelids with the e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer if you're interested. I just use the e.l.f. primer. I use the Fit Me Dewy. Oh, I have it on back. <laughs> I have it all messed up. Okay, the Fit Me uh, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. On top of that, I put the Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless. Okay, so this could be a disaster. Um, I'll hopefully, if it's a disaster, at least it'll be funny, entertaining. I don't know. <laughs> I've never done. I do my makeup every day, and honestly, I feel like I've been preparing for this for forever. Cause like, I'll do my makeup and like have like an inner monologue, like I'm blending out my crease now. <laughs> I've been preparing for this for a while. So first, I'm gonna do, and I hope it shows up well on camera, like. I hope you can see like I'm in my bathroom because it's the best lighting for this. This is where I do my makeup every day and um, so I hope that it's, this looks okay. Like at least you could see, kind of see it like it comes out well on, I'm like looking in, okay, like I said, I haven't done like a video like this before so my setup is like a little different so I'm like looking in my mirror and then looking in my camera. So hopefully this is not all over the place. But okay, I'm trying to decide how or I want to go in first. Okay. So first I'm going to do my, and okay, I am also using Morphe brushes. First I'm going to go in, do the, I'm going to be using the Dreamcatcher 99 Cent Star Palette first on this side, and then this side I'll, I will do Anastasia. So I'm trying to decide where I want to go with it first. Okay, I think I'm going to use Flame first in the crease. Let's just do it. Okay, because this is kind of like... A color I didn't even swatch these guys like let's see <laughs> I didn't even swatch it. this is kind of like a color I would yeah this is like a color I would just use as like a crease base like that. I told you my lingo is gonna be all off because I probably I don't do I don't know if I do it right I just do it the way I do it so let's just see if how this like turns out okay I don't know if I should get in a little closer hold on Okay, so I'm just bringing closer so you'd like see more of my eye. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna be looking at like my mirror, so let's see how this works. Okay, okay, I'm going literally lightly with this. Okay, so far it's pretty pigmented. Like, wow, okay. Like, can you see that? It's like an orangey, like super orangey, like taupey color, if that makes sense. Okay, that's really orangey. Wow, okay. Like, okay. I probably make really weird faces doing this. Okay, I'm just like blending it out. Wanted to blend it out. Okay. Also, okay. Like I said, this isn't necessarily a tutorial because like who am I to teach anyone how to do their makeup? <laughs> but I'm just gonna explain how I do my makeup. This is not the right way to do your makeup. There, I don't think there is a right way. Just like do your thing, girl. Um, so, but this is how I do my makeup and um, this is just like the method I use. So I just like start with the crease and then I bring it down out of corner and then just like keep blending from there. And I just like blend, blend, blend until the cows come home. And okay, I like it. Okay, okay, look at that. Okay, yeah, I like it. And you know, I'm not getting like fall, like any fallout. That's cool. All right, all right, no, no, so see you. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. Okay, that's a good start. Um, okay, now I am like want to do, I'm going to do this like, man, it almost seems like corally orangey. I don't know. Like, let's see how this turns. So I'm going to, I'm going to use that and I'm going to kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll just tell you what I do with it. Oh, we'll see. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to say that a lot. I'm just trying to blow out, but there's like, there's like no fallout. So, okay. I need to really lightly, I'm going to try and do this really lightly. Cause like I try to tap it off and like, I don't know if that's good or bad. Cause like usually like I'll tap off my excess, but like nothing tapped off. Okay. Just like concentrating the face and then like a little buffed out. Okay. Okay. A lot more, a little more. Oh boy. Okay, this isn't bad though, guys. I mean, if you like this orangey type of look, like I said, I've been doing like an orangey brown, brown, like neutral look every day. Um, and this is like 
fitting that but this is really orangey so i don't know i feel like it works for my skin tone um the orangey look um and my, is that right like that doesn't sound very technical the orangey look but i'm just like really trying to blend this out okay that, that okay <laughs> okay so that's the orange and i'm probably gonna need to go over more of this I mean, go it over with that again. Okay, so that's not bad. And then what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna deepen, uh, try to deepen, um, my like really like in the crease, like right there. Um, and I'm gonna get, man, I don't want to use a super dark shade yet because I feel like that's gonna be too dark. So I'm gonna go in again with flame, flame, and I'm gonna just do that again in like my this part. And I'm going to get more than I did when I did it, like, buffed it all out. I want that to be pretty deep. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. It's a story of my life. Okay, that kind of, it kind of deepened it up a little bit. Usually I like to do that and then also drag it out a corner. I don't know. If that, if that, I feel like it's just all like I can't tell how well it's blending oh okay I don't know how well this is all blending together or blending out am I even making sense you guys I don't know okay so see I try to deep I just like deepen in deepen in deepen in what okay so I just deepen th this side and usually I bring it out to like my outer corner but I feel like it's not like dragging down is like not moving where i want it to right now okay that's okay okay that's not bad let me see can you see that okay all right okay so now i want to go on the lid like i said i already prepped my lids i didn't set it and normally i would go in with like a matte like um not white but like a wet matte cream what am i doing wet bye okay what am I doing? Okay. Normally I'd go in with like a matte cream shade on the lid to brighten it up, but there's not a matte cream shade. There's just like the sparklies right here. So the shimmer shades right here. So I'm just gonna, and usually I would, what I would do, I'd do matte cream and then I put like any shimmer shade over it. And I just go in with my finger. Okay, this is pretty smooth. And usually, and this is like a, this one's like a gold, if you can even see that. And then the other one, is just like a pearly pearl more pearl color so usually i would just actually mix the two of those so in my anastasia palette there's like two similar shades like this and this is actually this is pretty smooth guys this is like pretty buttery um i would just like mix the two of them and then i would just pop that on so that's what i do and that's what i'm doing right now i'm just mixing the two of those shades and i'm just gonna like pop it on and i also would use the cream shade to kind of like lighten this part up where like the shadow got like not necessarily where i wanted it to but we're just working with what we have, so I'm just gonna, oh, okay, okay. Okay, that's really nice, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, do you see that? Okay, so that actually came out pretty nice. We'll see how long, how it stays. Okay, so I'm taking my flat shader again, and I'm gonna take the darkest shade. Cap oh, wow, I'm not even gonna show it either. I'm gonna take cappuccino. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Depending on how dark, you, depending on how dark you want to go, I would just take a little bit and then blend it out and just like build it up, because this like it's pretty pigmented, and I don't always want to just like put a ton on. I want to be able to blend it out. So that blended out pretty well. Let me take a little more. Okay, and then I'm just going to get some more of my shimmer colors and I'm going to put that, add a little more on and also try and blend, like, to smooth it out. I'm going to take flat, my flat shader again and I'm going to kind of, like, try and blend the darker shade with that shimmer because, yeah. 
I don't want it, the shimmer. I don't like the shimmer all over the lid. I just want it like a pop right there. Okay. All right, that's actually pretty nice. Okay, so that is done except for my eyeliner and mascara and I'll just do that when I'm done with the other eye. So now I'm gonna go in with Anastasia. I just call it Anastasia, um, but the modern renaissance palette. And I'm going to go in, try and do similar, so I'm going to do this burnt orange color. I saw the brush in here, I never use that. The burnt, uh, burnt orange color, you can see I use that, um, I've used that a lot, quite a bit. So I'm going to go in with that color first. And I'm just using a fluffy, my blending brush. It's just like an experiment, you know, science. I only believe in science. Does, someone, does anyone know that or do I just sound crazy? Okay, all right. The difference here is the gold shade in the Dreamcatcher palette is more gold than the one in the Anastasia. So this looks more golden than this one. And this shimmer is actually like a little more like a little more like sparkly. And this one is more just like subtle. And this one, I always like this one because I feel like it's just like really subtle and just like a little bit of a glow on your eye. And that's usually what I use. But I also like this look too. I also like it, the gold. Like it's more gold. This one's definitely. And usually I guess if I use just the more gold shade on Anastasia. It might come up more gold. But uh, I, I just like to mix them. And um, now I'm seeing that like this isn't as gold as this one. That's interesting. Okay. So now I'm going to deepen this eye with the Cypress Slumber. Which is the deepest shade here. liking how this one came out better honestly I really am just because I think I kind of messed up on this one a little too just like I wouldn't normally have done that gone that dark in the my inner in my crease which isn't the shadows fault it's just because I was trying to compare them um but I liked how the, com the trying to do the same look I liked how this one turned out better with the look I was trying to do I guess that's what I'm trying to say so but they both came out I, I mean I like them both um, I just like feel like the I messed up on this one. That might be it, but it's I'm just trying to blend it out a little bit. But I feel like this one is like showing up more, if that makes sense. And like I don't have not reapplied that, so that's kind of crazy. I'm like I've never abandoned my Anastasia, but um, this is working pretty well. This is working pretty well. Um, for a dollar, like that worked really well. It probably this is probably the best. Okay, and I will say I've I have used a lot of like dollar store eyeshadows just to like play with them, and this is definitely the Smoke and Mirrors is definitely better than the Alley Colors from Dollar Tree, and um, I actually really like how it turned out. Why well, might I probably would use this like for real? Okay, I'm just gonna do my liner real quick. Let me just do that off camera. Okay, so that is it. I went ahead and did my eyeliner and um, mascara, and I did um, my and I did and then I did my um, concealer. Um, I used I used Elf liquid liner. 
and I use Maybelline Lash Sensational for my mascara. And then for the, my concealer, I use the NYX Professional Makeup HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And then to set my under eye, I use the Wet n Wild highlighting powder and then do like a little bit of contour with this one. And then I need like a really small highlight or a light, really light highlight. I did use the uh, Wet n Wild um, Precious Petals. And that is what I, I use all the time, that stuff. So, oh, I didn't put anything on my lips. But um, yeah, so that is, this is the finished look. If you can see, like, okay, I'm gonna like be really awkward right now and like squint in the camera. But um, yeah, so this is 99 cent store and this is Anastasia. And they look super similar. Like I said, the only thing that's different is the shimmer shade. And um, as far as this palette right now, I'm really liking how it turned out. And I definitely will, I'm gonna be using these shades at least like a lot now, for sure. Um, I really like how that turned out. And it's just, this is super like, like a really nice fall look with that gold pop of like gold, a little shimmer, uh, pop of like gold shimmer on there. Um, so yeah, I thought that was thought that was fun for me to do. I hope it was interesting a little bit to see how those two compare. Um, so definitely, if you're at the 99 cent store and you're interested, pick up this Dreamcatcher palette. Especially if you're just practicing with makeup, this is definitely something cool to start with because the um, the shades are like really popular shades right now, um, with those like burnt orangey and like the golden. And I just like this is really nice um, brown color. Um, I, it looks neutral and basic, but um, it's a really good starter palette, I think. Um, so yeah, that is my first makeup video. Um, I'm just like all over the place crazy here because I'm so excited. Like I said, I love watching beauty videos. Uh, I never planned to really do one. Like this is, I wouldn't say this is like a serious one exactly. I'm just kind of like playing around with a new look and I just wanted to, to share it with everyone. So again, like, Okay, so I just wanted to do a follow up on how my makeup looks now. Um, I did this a look around 3 o'clock and now it's about 8 o'clock. So it's been about 5 hours. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, 5 hours. So um, it's been about 5 hours and um, this is how it looks now. Again, this is the 99 cent store uh, eye and this is the Anastasia eye. Um, so yeah, I think they both look pretty good still, um, for, um, uh, just for having it on for about five hours. And, um, the only thing I would say is with the 99 cent store look is that, um, the matte shades aren't like true matte necessarily. They have like some flecks of like glitter, like shimmer in them. And you couldn't really tell it that much when I first put it on. I didn't really tell. Um, but now, like, you can't, I don't think you probably can, let me, like, try and, no, I don't think you can tell. <laughs> um, I don't think you can really tell right now, but, um, the shimmer is kind of, like, showing more on here. So it's kind of, like, shimmer, a little bit of shimmer all over it. And usually, like, for a matte, you just want it to be flat, matte, no shimmer. Um, but you really can't tell that much unless you look, like, pretty, really close. So it not that big of a deal but um other than that i think it's down pretty well especially this these shimmer shades like the actual shimmer shades and the, these have stayed on really well um that those shades have stayed on really well and um i think it still looks you know this color is still popping up and like the orange is still there and um oh i didn't put it in my first I didn't put it in earlier, but I did go back and like try to highlight the brow bone with like the shimmer shades And usually I would do that with again like a matte cream shade So I don't know. I don't really care for how that like quite turned out the hot brow bone highlight, but that's okay um the like I said the 99 sister palette didn't have like a flat cream matte um, shade um, if it had that I think that would just be perfect um, other than that um, I think it worked pretty well for a dollar um, in comparison to um, that your more expensive palette so um, again if you are just wanting to try it out I would definitely just try it out if you like see it or wondering if it works it 
does work. Um, again, I've only had it on for about five hours. I don't know if it would last you, how it would last, wear all day. Um, with Anastasia, I've never had a problem with it lasting, the shades lasting all day. Um, so I know that, about that. I don't know about the 99 cent store um, palette, but, um, and especially if you're just wanting to play around with looks and um, play around with the shades and you don't want to spend a ton of money, um, this would definitely be a good buy if you were interested. Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. Please stay tuned. Um, uh, I have some more videos and I try to like change it up from just like the Dollar Tree haul videos, which are super fun. Sometimes I just don't find anything like this week. Like this week, I didn't find anything. So I went to the 99 cents store actually and I this the the palette is what I found. So um yeah, um thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and as always don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye.